Hey guys, my hair needs washing. I'm going to show you how I use Rasool clay to do so and why I prefer it to bentonite. I'm starting with Shea Butter Cottage's Rasool clay and of course I'm using a ceramic bowl and plastic utensils. So you want to use plastic, ceramic or wooden. I'm mixing mine with water only but you can of course and are recommended to mix it with honey for a deep conditioning treatment or something like aloe vera juice. I just eyeball it, I don't have particular measurements so I just chuck in a bit of clay, mix it with a bit of water and add a bit more clay until I feel I have enough of it to cover my hair and it's the consistency that I like. I like to mix mine into a nice smooth consistent paste, sort of lotion like, but it is totally up to you if you wish to make it a bit more watery and apply it in a bottle form and use it as a mud wash in that sense, or you want it a bit thicker for a bit more of a deeper treatment mask type effect, that's completely up to you. But I just prefer mine nice and smooth though it's easy to apply and that I can let it sit on my hair comfortably. So you can see this is the consistency that I like my clay to be. Soil clay is packed full of minerals such as magnesium, silica which is collagen which of course regenerates the skin, keeps everything plump and healthy and calcium amongst a whole host of other things. It's super moisturising, improves elasticity and has a lower pH than bentonite so it's that little bit more gentle than bentonite. So that's one of the, a few of the reasons why I prefer the soil clay. Working with my hair in sections, I'm using gloves for no other reason than it provides me a lot of slip to do so. I am spritzing my hair with water just to get it nice and pliable and so that the clay applies nice and easy. So I'm just working that through. You don't have to saturate the hair but do get it nice and damp. And then I will split off even smaller sections, take clumps of my clay and apply it directly to the scalp and down my hair. So you can see immediately it's weighing my hair down, it's clumping my coils together and it's got a lot of slip so you can see all those shed hairs are just coming out immediately. So you can see how much it's hanging down. My hair never hangs down with anything else but clay. And another reason why I prefer Rasool clay to bentonite is because bentonite is really a detoxifying clay. If you have sensitive skin, eczema, psoriasis, or dry scalp, I would recommend you use Rasool clay over bentonite because it's that bit more moisturizing and gentle. But on the other hand, if you've got really oily skin and you want to multitask it, bentonite might be better for you. So yeah, just further showing that difference in how my hair just stands up on its own. And I'm just repeating the process, spritzing that down with water, applying clay directly to the scalp and down the hair shaft, smoothing that all through and detangling. If necessary, I will go ahead and re-spritz the section just to make sure that the clay hasn't got too dry on the hair and that it's still pliable and workable. So this is what my hair looks like fully applied. Even the front part of my hair, which has like zero definition, is clumping and coiling. You can see it's all weighed down, so much definition so clumped and you can see how much swing and movement my hair has which is crazy so it's really cool to see i will just leave this on for about 20 to 30 minutes it does not have to go hard for you to rinse it out and so i'll go straight into the shower and i will just rinse this out the keyword is rinse i'm not scrubbing at my scalp or at the hair i'm really just letting the mud do everything that it needs to do as a natural cleanser and I'm being really gentle so that I can keep some of that definition. So 
So just split apart the hair gently if need be to make sure that I'm really getting all the mud out of my hair and making sure that my hair is nice and clean, but I'm not lifting the hair at all. I'm letting the water do all the work. You can see this is what my hair looks like straight out of the shower. It's starting to swell and frizz again, but typically I've got a lot more definition than usual. And so you can see from the back, beautiful ringlets. My hair is nice and clean as well. It's crazy definition, really, really soft and clean. So it's a great way to cleanse the hair. And this is just a close up of my definition at the back there. Nice, tight zigzags and coils going on. So needless to say, that is how I use Rasool clay on my hair and that is particularly why I love it. Let me know what clays you use if you do in the comments down below. Give this video a like and share it around. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!